Today we'll be talking about Sway, Sway's been said chair, uh, various things about uh, this, the topic. So, first of all, who am I? I've been in the Linux space for quite some time, been Fedora contributor since 2013, and then since 2016, Sway, Packager, and, well, user as well. Um, so, let's start from the very basic, what's Sway, why we're talking about this. It's a drop-in replacement of i3WM. Uh, drop-in is the definition of the project. That does not mean that is actually a drop-in. Nowadays, it's way closer to that idea, at least, uh, but it's not like perfectly a drop-in in some very edge cases. Why have it at all? Because it's for Wayland. So uh, i3 the, did not want it to migrate to, from X11 to Wayland. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they changed their mind in between, but back in 2016, they were like, nope, we are X11, we are targeting that platform, we have a lot of code specific for X11, therefore we don't care about this new thing uh, that hopefully uh, will change everything, but maybe it will not. It's based on WL roots, uh, so effectively, they, uh, the, the Sway developers wrote also a Wayland compositor. At the time there was, uh, don't remember the name of the genome one, uh, but they did not want to, do, to use that one uh, because they believed that it was bloated and not up to the level that they were expecting. So they wrote uh, one from scratch uh, with the idea of in, uh, creating a very small implementation, which at the moment, I think it's around 60,000 lines, which is not that much to be a Wayland compositor, but to be fully compliant with all the extension that Wayland has and had at the time. The first commit was in August 2015. So we are at the eight year mark uh, from Sway now. And interestingly enough, we have it packaged since February 2016 in Fedora. And the first release they had uh, upstream was in March 2016. So effectively, we can say that Fedora is probably the, the distribution that has been had, uh, had in uh, Sway for the longest period of time. And I have to say that I have been using Sway for quite some time because I packaged it a couple of weeks after I moved to Sway. So, um, it was not very stable. At the time, I used to also have i3 installed because, well, it, it tended to crash version 0, 0.0. Uh, but still, uh, it, it grew very well, and over time, it became very, very stable. Now, the history between Fedora and Sway has, I would say, three big parts. The first one is what happened before Fedora 38, then 30, uh, 38, and then uh, 39 in future. So before 38, there were multiple people that had their own spins or remixes based on the specific uh, versions. I had mine as well. Um, I think I published officially, so I had it mine based on Classic Fedora uh, since 2016. Then in 2017, probably I moved it to RPM OS 3. Uh, I published it on a Git repo, but never commented too much about it because it was basically my version of Fedora. Um, and then a couple of years ago, I published it also with the blog post and telling a little bit uh, to many people what actually I was trying to do and that kind of things. And in the same way, other people had tried to solve uh, the same issue. So in May 2022, we decided in a bunch of people to create an official spin. Uh, for Fedora 37, for Sway. That was the initial idea, but it did not happen. Uh, it did not happen because we, didn't, we, did not, we were not very clear with ourselves on what exactly we wanted to put in that spin. What way, um, if it uh, should have been a very basic spin or a more complete spin? Who was our target user and so on? So, we used a little bit more time than the Fedora 37 release cycle allowed us to do. So we ended up with Fedora 38. So 
in Fedora 38, we propose the Fedora Sway spin change. Uh, that's also a link, it does not feel like one, but um, you can then find the, the, the slides in, in SCAD, I'll upload them there, and you can click a lot of things in the slides. And this change uh, was about two artifacts. The first one was the creation of the Fedora Sway spin. And to be specific, the biggest change between, you know, Fedora War Station and uh, the Swipe Spin is around the packages. So the packages we ended up with are obviously the Sway packages. Uh, so Sway, Sway BG, Idle, and Lock, which are the very basic uh, Sway packages that you can have. Uh, Dunst for a notification daemon, uh, Foot for the terminal, and that was kind of a long discussion because we have a lot of different terminals, but well, in the end, you only have to pick one. So. Uh, Slurp and Grim to do screen sc uh, screenshots. So the first one allows you uh, to select a, um, an area on Wayland, and the second one to screenshot an area on Wayland. Uh, IMV for the viewing images, uh, Kanshi for a dynamic output configurator, MPV for uh, media player, Tuner for file manager, and STDM and STDMX11 for the login manager. Now, We'll be talking a little bit more about the last one. But as you can see from the list, we opted for a fairly complete version of the distribution in the sense that we are providing the majority of tools that a person might be using. There is also Firefox. It's not in the list, but uh, it's there as well. Um, and all of them, or all of them except the last one, um, are Wayland specific. So for instance, Foot, uh, it's a Wayland um, terminal emulator, IMV, same thing. So whatever we could choose between an X11 native program and a Wayland native program, we opted for the Wayland one. The other thing that uh, we proposed in the same change was Fedora Sericea. Now, a couple of comments on this. First of all, the name, um, the pronunciation, uh, I've seen that many people struggle with it is either Sericea or Sericea based on the kind of Latin you want to use. Uh, classic Latin would be Sericea, Ecclesiastic Latin uh, would be Sericea. I use the latter because I'm Italian. In Italian schools you, stud you study Ecclesiastic Latin, not Classic Latin, but uh, either would be correct. The reason is that Fedora Sericea or Sericea comes from Terminalia Sericea, which is a plant. And plants' names are pronounced in Latin. So, why Terminalia Sericea? First of all, because Sericea started with S in the same way uh, that Swai does. And uh, so it was like a nice thing. The second aspect is that Terminalia Sericea is a tree, OS3 is a tree. So, we found that similarity as well. Uh, also, uh, it's the common name would be uh, silver leaf, which was also one of the options of what then became silver blue. Uh, so it was also a nice reference there. And if you look at Terminal Search here, you will find a lot of similarities with the Sway logo. And you know, the first one is the Sway logo. And the second one is the Wikipedia image of a Terminalia Sericea, just uh, mirrored because they uh, photographed it on the other side. But um, as you can see, there are a lot of similarities. So we thought that that was a good thing, and therefore we opted for uh, this name. Also, speaking about logos, we also got a logo, and this is thanks to Emma Kinney. Uh, which is part of the Fedora design team, and she was very patient with us, uh, with all of the changes that we asked them, asked her uh, multiple times. And so we also have a, a logo that is also very similar to the previous two images uh, that we have seen, but uh, obviously in the Fedora way. Now, uh, we also worked a little bit on website things um, in the Fedora 38 timeframe. So first of all, we managed to create the spin page. 
uh, it's a little bit weird because until Fedora 38, effectively, uh, well, until Fedora 37, all spins had uh, a page on spins.fedoraproject.org. Uh, in Fedora 38, some spin moved, uh, or the new spins started to have pages on the new website. Uh, so we moved, uh, we went directly in that path, uh, and then I think that uh, now every spin will move there as well. So we try to already be on the new website just to avoid the double creation of pages. Then we also had the Fedora Sericea page uh, on the website as well. I'm not sure how many um, derivatives or uh, editions uh, have the page or had the page at the time, but uh, for the same reason as before, we tried to already adopt a new standard uh, because it was obviously easier uh, for us. And also we created some documentation around this. Uh, there are still a lot of things to document, uh, mostly because Sericea and Sway specifically um, are Wayland only, which means that, for instance, if you have an NVIDIA card, things might be a little bit more complex. Uh, now, hopefully in the next few releases, everything will become smoother, and even NVIDIA drivers will work perfectly. I really hope that. But in the meantime, it's, you know, can be a little bit rougher there. So for Fedora 39, we proposed one change, and then we inherited one, uh, which is always good. Um, the change that we proposed got approved and implemented, and I think is real since three, four days ago, uh, Rawhide built. Uh, so it should work. I've not yet tried on my laptop because I did not want it to break two days before Fosdem, uh, before Flock. Uh, but still, it's ServiceX sorgless. The idea here is that looking at our three of dependencies, we are still importing XOR, which is not very good for uh, a sway that, you know, in theory, should be XOR less. And the reason for that is that we are using STDM X11, or we used to, and by moving to STDM Wayland Sway, we can actually drop completely the XOR dependency. So this is what we have done, and now we have the builds without XOR, which is always also better because there were a bunch of weird bugs uh, in the logging page due to some not perfect configuration of XORG, which we don't, didn't really care about because all the rest were, were without XORG. So um, we also fixed a little bit the, the user experience there as well. The other change that we got, but we did not develop, so it's always nice because you, know, you get it for free, is the OS3 native container uh, change, uh, which is, I think, driven by uh, Colin Walter. Uh, and uh, other Fedoras uh, people. Uh, so now you can actually download uh, Fedora Sericea uh, directly from a Docker uh, repositories or um, image uh, repository. Now, for, for Fedora 40, we start to have some ideas. Uh, those are not like written in stone kind of ideas. It's more like, yeah, we have thought about those kind of things. Uh, I've discussed it with a couple of people, uh, but nothing is written in stones there. And the first one is the unified core mode. Uh, so I think in Fedora 39, uh, Silver Blue and uh, Kinoid are going to move to uh, this unified core mode which basically is the new suggested way to create RPM OS3 images. The classic way is now deprecated. Uh, we are still using the classic way, so it would make sense to actually move to the non-deprecated way uh, sooner than later. And it should not be a huge change, uh, mostly because due to the fact that in Fedora 39, uh, Silverblue and Kinoid are already doing it, if they are going to be successful, and I really hope that they are, 
uh, we will just have to copy whatever they, they have done uh, in the previous release. So it, it should be something reasonably easy to do. And the other thing uh, that we have been discussing, even though there is no clear consensus on anything exactly around this, is more flat box. And this is more on the Sericea side than uh, the, the Swice pin. And the reason is that, for instance, I'm not very happy about having Firefox in the base image. Uh, I don't like it to be there. Uh, also because on how uh, Firefox depends on FFmpeg and a very specific version of FFmpeg, which has some limits, and how the RPM OS 3 behaves um, with FFmpeg's substitution of packages, um, which makes everything a little bit more complex. So I hope personally to be able to move to uh, maybe Firefox and other applications in flat packs. I think it would make more sense, uh, but I also understand that at the moment is not something that is probably going to happen for Fedora 40. Maybe it will happen uh, later, uh, but still it's something I'm thinking about. And even here, I would expect Silver Blue to be the first one to move to flat packs many, uh, many applications before we actually uh, do the thing. We are a very small group of people doing this and also we are active in other parts of Fedora and we have other daily jobs as well. So in the end, we tend to be a little bit trailing on changes. Uh, it's like, oh, we are seeing a very interesting change in Silver Blue. Uh, let's see how they are going to implement, how it's going for them. If it's going to be successful, uh, successful for them, then we are also going to do the same thing uh, so that we have a little bit less burden there. So, um, other questions? Uh, I was just wondering what would you say was your biggest challenge in bringing up a new spin? So the change proposal part, I suppose, is kind of planning and sorting out what needs to be done, but then actually implementing it. Were there any big challenges that you faced? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, well, first of all, the change itself, uh, mm -hmm. I would say it's mostly three things. One is uh, comms, so effectively groups uh, of things. Uh, one is the kickstart for uh, the swipe spin, and the third one is their PMOS3 part uh, of the build. Of the three, the most problematic one has been their PMOS3 part. And the reason is that at the moment, uh, we don't have that many RPMOS3 editions of Fedora, uh, so the process is not really very documented. Um, it's also not very straightforward. I think that we did changes on three or four different Git repos to actually get th those images properly built and uh, tagged and shipped uh, as you would imagine uh, to be, them to be. Well, for instance, Kickstarter, it was just one file in one repo uh, done. Well, and one reference to that file, but in the same repo and, and that's it. So effectively, that part was a little bit more complex. Also because at the moment there are some, uh, I think there are five artifacts that are delivered as RPM OS 3. Uh, some of them are built in a certain way, others are built in a different way. So it was not that easy to just say, oh, uh, let's pick how uh, IoT is done and then do the same because actually IoT is slightly different. So we ended up picking, I think, Kinoid copying what they were doing and then trying uh, a couple of times to, to make things working properly. Cool, maybe just like a slightly simpler question. Um, I have used Sway on Fedora, but it wasn't from the spin. Does it ship then with some like basic key mappings to like pull up like different applications or is it 
just the default ones? It's just the default ones. Uh, in the sense that we have thought about doing also the configurations, uh, sway configuration, way, um, way bar configuration and so on, is very, very close to the, the upstream ones. We have thought about changing them uh, much, and then we decided not to, uh, mostly because we did not have good ideas on how to improve them. Uh, so it was like, well, if we get some someone from the Fedora UI uh, UX team that tells us, oh, you should do this and that, okay, we can do that. But we are engineers, so mm, uh, not, not the best kind of people to, to make those decisions. And also, I think that the reality is that 99 point something percent of Sway users will have their own configurations. That was gonna be my follow up. I think most people just pull that in and yeah. Yeah, because it's highly personal like to each developer. Yeah. Yeah, and that is also the reason why we're at the beginning thinking about uh, providing a version, uh, mostly in the Sericea part, the RPMOS3 part, without any application or very close to it. Uh, because the idea was like, since everyone wanted a different terminal, a different image view and so on, why should we make a choice? Uh, can't we just ship something that the base part that works for everyone and then everyone can build on top of it. Then we decided to be a little bit more user friendly than that, uh, but still it's fairly easy to, to put your own applications. And for instance, uh, for me it was a, a new thing, IMV. I used to use uh, Fee, uh, but in reality they are so similar that I moved to IMV fairly quickly. Okay. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you. Uh, there are also a bunch of uh, links uh, here, and I will upload the, the slides on uh, SCAD so that you can click stuff. <laughs>